Okay, I'm ready to uh, check the valve lash on these things. And I've got my tools here. OS used to provide a magnificent tool set with their four-stroke engines. And I have a pair of fuel gauges here that came with an old OS engine. One is a point one millimeter and the other is a point oh four millimeter. I like to refer to them as my go no go gauges. This is the feeler gauge that usually comes with most Sato engines. I think it's a point one. I don't typically use that unless I have lost something. And I've got a wrench here to loosen the locking or the retaining nuts and then a hex key. So the process for setting the valve lashes, the engine must be cold, which obviously this one is, and it should be, the piston will be at top dead center on the compression stroke. So exhaust valve just went down, intake valve, compression, and you just kind of feel for top dead center. Basically, you want the push rods to be at their lowest point. So, I'm going to just first check this. Now I call these my go no go gauges because I usually set the gap so that it's just nipping the .04 but the .1 it should not go in there in fact these valves don't even really need to be set again but the process would be that I loosen the retaining nut or the locking nut and then slide the feeler gauge in and adjust it down this one feels like it goes in pretty easy I'm going to go ahead and adjust this one just as a demonstration but I did notice that, if you notice, the point one didn't go in, so technically this could go as it is. Uh, let's check this one. This one, eh, it feels like there's a little slop there. I like to have it so that they're nipping that just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, looks, looks like I didn't get the right wrench here. Let me find the right wrench real quick. And loosen this so that we can actually make an adjustment. So I'm going to put my hex key in the top here and I'm going to start rotating this until I just feel that start to pinch that. And when I feel that I'm going to hold this in position and then tighten my adjusting or my lock nut. So yeah I feel just a little bit of tension there and of course obviously this isn't going to go so right now that one has been readjusted and I think I felt the same awful lot of eh, I mean it's probably okay but for demonstration purposes we'll adjust it so I'll insert my point oh four you see how easy that's kind of floating around in there this is going to take just a very small amount of turn to just feel like it's just nipping that. Okay. I want to adjust or tighten down our locking nut. So I'm just a little bit more than nipping that so that's a little bit too tight. there. Yeah, there we go. Just nipping that now. Just a little bit of tension there. So we've got go and no go. Now let me rotate this over a few times and we'll check it again. It's got good compression now. Top dead center. Just nipping, just nipping. No go, no go. So now the valve lash is set properly. So this engine, once I get the carburetor back on, install a prop, it's ready to go. And like I said, I'm going old school. It's going to have the exposed push rods and the exposed rocker arm so it's going to look really cool when I do take it out and run it.